Okay, so it's a Saturday evening down here in Gosport. The light is fading a little bit, um, so hopefully it's light enough for you to be able to see this really lovely little boat. So the Beneteau range, I really, really rate the Beneteau range. I took the bigger brother of this, or bigger sister, um, round to Gosport, funny close to here, uh, just after Christmas this year, in some really nasty sea conditions. That was an Antares 9, but the way that it handled really was fantastic. So we really rate this Beneteau range of boats, the Antares. Now the focus of these is obviously around fishing, but there's a good leisure element to it too. So what we're going to do is do a full walkthrough tour um, and start off at the stern. So you can see obviously from a fishing point of view there is lots of space around here for fishing. You've got a couple of these rail blazer mounts here where you can fit either a fishing rod onto there or you could possibly fit a cutting board for bait. So that's a really nice addition on the back there. And then you have another rod holder at the back another one on this side. So at the back of the boat, you've got four different rod holders. Now the transom of this boat, it could be laid to some form of synthetic teak, but it's all very easy to wash down and is just a white uh, GRP, which is simple just to wash down and keep in perfect condition here. I really like the fact that it's got a little um, storage box at the back, but this storage box has got diamante upholstery on the top of it. And then if I lift that forward, you can see that comes forward there just so the engine can be t um, kept in a tilted position. So it's quite a nice feature there, give you more space in the cockpit. And I'll just pop that back onto there. I haven't put the straps on, but there obviously can be strapped on um, when you're going along to make sure the cushion doesn't fly out the way. Um, at the back here, it's pretty straightforward. You've got cleats which run through these really nice fair leads, and I like the fact there's a stainless steel fair lead there, and then the cleat nestled down below, and a good handhold all the way around the boat. Now, something which is really important in a smaller fishing boat is that you've got access to handholds all the way around, just to make sure that if you're out in a sea and the boat's moving around, you're able to grab hold of something. In terms of the step, the step up, now it's never going to be the widest step up because it's only a 6.8 metre boat, but it's safe in terms of where the handholds are. So if I come up onto the bow here, you step up here and then you've got a really good handhold which runs all the way down here and right the way through to the bow. On the bow, it's not huge, but you've got space to sit down if you wanted to. And then you've got a really nice size anchor locker which is just inside here, and you do have an electric windlass in here. So it can be operated via a little um, remote system. You've also then got a little winch handle there, which can free it off in case it gets stuck. But there's a nice amount of space there, and it's set to chain and also a rope on there as well. So safety um, in Paramount, so all the way around here, you've got good guardrails. You're able to lean, lean over, see the anchor setting, and that's a nice position. We've also got an opening hatch here, which is a nice addition. Some people have put sun pad cushions on here, but to be honest, it's probably a little bit small to really enjoy the sun pad bathing space here, unlike some of the bigger brothers of the Antares range. So let's walk back round and have a look down inside the boat. Something to mention, I'll show you from inside, but it has a really large glass opening sunroof there, uh, and that slides open to allow a lot, lot more light to go into the cabin space. So let's walk back round. And again, utilising these handholds as we come around and popping down into position here. So what I'll do is I'll just grab the camera now and we'll see inside this 680. It's basic, it's functional, but I really think it's got quite a lot of character to it. You've got a nice quality upholstery here. You've got a large wooden table. So seating here for two people on this side, two people on that side, and then the helm. In terms of practicalities, you've got a... Um, uh, running water, well, running water, it's pumped water there, which is a cold tap. You've got storage all the way along, storage on the other side, and then you've got a helm seat here. But you do have a fridge down here, which is nice. In terms of the helm position, you can either helm this boat by standing up, there's plenty of height, or you can sit down and you've got a footrest here. An array of carling switches, and then you've got a Lowrance HDS7, which has got obviously a fish finder, chart plotter all built in, and your Suzuki gauge system. Now the boat's only covered um, 207 hours today. The, boat, the owner of this boat is still using her, so it may go up slightly, but that's the sort of level of usage this boat's had. So very, very low, and it's a one owner from new boat. If we look down here, you can see there's an infill cushion which comes up to make this area here into another bed, and it's never even been taken out of its wrapper. The upholstery is all in good condition, and you've got little lockage storage spaces all the way around. There's an LED light at the top and then a hatch that opens up down there. You've also got a fusion radio. Now that's a fusion Bluetooth radio system. So that can all be tapped into your phone, which is nice. 
And that's pretty much it. You've got curtains so they can come across both that way and also across the back. And there is this really large skylight that can just be opened and slid open from there. So I think that pretty much covers everything. It's a 2016 Beneteau Antares 680. I think I mentioned the horsepower, maybe I didn't. It's a Suzuki 115 on the back of it. Give this boat a cruising speed of around about 20 knots and flat out about 25 knots. So it's no slouch, but it's plenty big enough to get you across to the fishing grounds, but it's a small, compact, really nicely proportioned and put together fishing boat from Antares. So thanks as always for watching. Any questions, please do comment. It's priced very, very reasonably in the market and we look forward to seeing you very, very soon. Many thanks.